This is part the girl child project headed by Mrs. Fausat Hamzat of um, Ifakoja, a local government area. We took off on a high note. There we are, the first school, somewhere in the Lamutu Fagba area, and we are warmly welcomed by the students. You can see at uh, the way they welcome us. Thank you very much. Hygiene is important and I care. My hygiene is important, my hygiene is important, my hygiene is important and I care. A uh, round of applause for yourself. All right. Let's get to it. We are here to, you know, enlighten you on the importance of um, menstrual hygiene and self-care. After the pleasantries, I taught them a short song which you just listened to, and it is um, to just make them to be aware of what is going on in their body at such a time as this. I let them realize that your, your body is blossoming and metamorphosizing into um, a woman, so to say, and they'll be expecting changes like I was demonstrating for them here, showing them that their breasts can get bigger, their hips can get bigger and stuff like that. And the high point is experiencing menstruation. I demystified menstruation, letting them know that it's not um, a, a mysterious thing or a taboo, all right? And I made sure I explained to them what menstruation is and what we are here for, which is to enlighten them on the importance of hygiene, menstrual hygiene and self-care. And that's my chairperson trying to throw more light on what was discussed by me earlier on, which I will be emphasizing towards the end of this video. So moving on, we had such a wonderful time at the very first school and they were very happy at the gifts they got. As we began to round off from the first school, we began to distribute the gifts. As you can see, we were distributing the pads, the roll-on and the shaving stick and they were so happy. We, I think we gave about 250 pads and all. You know, we made sure that every girl child in this school had a pad, a roll-on and a shaving stick. This is a laudable, um, you know, project and a noble work to towards humanity. Indeed, I must say that um, the authority or the management of Ifakoja, a local government area of Ogba, has done such a wonderful thing and should be applauded for it. So this was me, Funke Sanelefa Moroti, the Global Inspirer herself, joining the team on ground to make sure that all pupils on ground, every girl child on ground had a gift of pad, roll on and shaving stick and we made sure that we judiciously distributed the parts and they were very happy to have their own share of the gifts. So moving on, we went to the second school. The chairperson of the local government area, Mrs. Fausat Hamzat, of the I am growing and I know I can see. I am growing and I know I can see. I am growing and I know I can see. I am growing and I know I can see. My hygiene is important and I can So basically the reason for that song is just to um, enlighten them of what is going on in their body at such a time as this. You will agree with me between the age 9 and 19 is the adolescent age where a lot of features metamorphosizing into you know um, woman um, organs such as the breast the hips the face and what have you so the body of a girl child is blue zooming and she's she'll be wondering what's going on within my body so that song is just enlightening them that yes i know that my body is blossoming and i'm growing and i can see it and my hygiene is also important so that song is just enlightening them that yes i know that my body is blossoming and i'm growing and i can see it and my hygiene is also important and this song helps them to be sensitized so to say so moving on we move to the third school where we had our last outing for today and um, we arrived you can see I and my Honorable 
um, the convener herself, Mrs. Amzat, and then um, she, she and her crew, we had such a wonderful time also where I took time to also sensitize the children on the importance of menstrual hygiene. I would like to run down on the things I spoke upon. So I first defined menstruation, which is the natural shedding of blood and tissue um, from the lining of the uterus into the vagina. It's as simple as that. I demystify it because I need to come to their level where they can understand what we are talking about. And I quickly hit the ground running by you know, showing them the importance of menstrual hygiene, which I broke down into about four to five bullet points, which are first... You must take care of your um, pad, you know, dispose your pad very neatly by putting inside a nylon to make sure you change your pad at least latest four hours after usage in order to avoid itching and over wetness of the of the panties, which may start itching you and also can cause some uh, uh, reproductive tract infection, which we're trying to avoid. The next one is to have a deodorant so that you can you know, make sure that you look, you smell very nice in order to avoid the foul odor that comes with menstruation. The next one is also to, you know, make sure you wash yourself very clean with clean water and soap and also make sure you wash yourself twice a day. That would enhance you keeping all the uh, rules of the menstrual hygiene during your menstruation. So all the things I had to break down to their level and they understood very much and they got it right and you can see they're clapping they're very happy so here are some photo speaks that is i and mrs adijumo care hamsat you know and that's me representing on duty and we had such a wonderful time that's us with the students and with her essay to on duty to walk over and it was time out for selfie. We had such a wonderful time riding home together. She's such a beautiful and a pretty woman, you know. I told her, I said, you're such a beautiful woman. And guess what? She's also very passionate, very dutiful. And you could see it in the way she carried the project today, right? I must say I had a wonderful time out working with her today on this part, the Girl Child Project. And I look forward to beautiful, greater moments to come. As I round off my job today, I have to say this special appreciation to the management of Ifako Jai. I'm the CEO of Carissa Inspirational TV, African First Inspirational TV. And I'm here as a speaker of the day. Uh, we talked about the importance of menstrual hygiene and self care, and we had such a wonderful time. I want to say a special thank you to the organizers of this wonderful and lovely course. Part a girl, part a girl. It is very wonderful. So after a job comes feedback, I love to hear feedback from my clients and this is what my client of today has to say about the job done. This is from Kes Nayalu Famoroti, CEO of Carissa Inspirational TV and your host on the White Table Talk Show and I'm here live and direct with the chairperson of um, Ifako Jai, local government area in Ogba, um, Lagos State and she's in the person of Mrs. Adeju Moke Fausat Hamzat and she's here to say one or two things about um, Funkes and Famoroti. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Amzat Adeju Moke Hamzat, chairperson of Ifako Jai, local government. I'm here with Mrs. Funke Famoroti. <laughs> this is my first time of meeting her, but forget it. I love her combination. I love her speech. I love her packaging. Everything about her was, I give it to her. Thank, Thank you. you. 